It's finally here, the end of the Skywalker Saga and the culmination of three trilogies. Welcome back to ADP Reviews everyone. This is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, directed by J.J. Abrams. The Force Awakens and Rogue One were huge hits with fans and critics. The Last Jedi and Solo didn't fare as well. So there was a lot of nervous tension in the air regarding whether or not this film would be a worthy conclusion to the Skywalker Saga. Well, the film has been released, and so far, the critical reviews have been less than favorable. However, the audience reviews have been very positive. Oddly enough, we're experiencing a reversal of the reaction to The Last Jedi, which was loved by critics, but less favored amongst fans. So what did I think? Was this film a worthy conclusion, or does it fall short? Let's look at the story, and I'll try my best to avoid spoilers. The story picks up one year after The Last Jedi. Emperor Palpatine has returned. As Rey continues her training under Leia, Kylo Ren, now the supreme leader of the First Order, delves the depths of the dark side intent on finding Rey. All the while, Finn, Poe, and the rest of the Resistance prepare for a final battle against the First Order's fleet. If they fail, the Resistance will be destroyed and the galaxy will be plunged into darkness. Will our heroes defeat this evil? Or will the threat of Palpatine destroy the Jedi in any hope for a free galaxy? Like I said, this movie has gotten some mixed reviews from critics, but the audiences are enjoying it. So what do I think? Let's look at the good stuff. First, it's definitely the biggest Star Wars film. I'm serious, the scale and size of this film is enormous. This movie is the Star Wars equivalent of going balls to the wall, all or nothing in terms of visuals, story, and action. Second, the chemistry between the three main heroes, Rey, Finn, and Poe, is great. Daisy Ridley, Oscar Isaac, and John Boyega all have great back and forth dialogue with each other, and you can tell all three actors loved working with each other. Third, the score by John Williams incorporates pieces from every Star Wars film into this film along with new pieces. Original trilogy, prequels, and sequels, every film has a piece of its score included. Fourth, Adam Driver is once again incredible as Kylo Ren. He has some great action scenes, great moments of conflict, and he perfectly plays a broken man barely kept together under a layer of anger and shame. But my favorite part about this film is just how much of a love letter it is to fans of the franchise. The reverence this film has towards every trilogy and the legacy of its characters is beautiful. So many moments in this film bring a tear to your eye especially scenes with Carrie Fisher. There's one scene in particular that had a few tears streaming down my face. Yeah, I got emotional, sue me. So, with so much stuff to love, what didn't I like? Well, a few of the reveals seemed to just be there to give answers to questions that I really don't think needed answers. I can't get into specifics without spoiling the movie, but just know that a lot of answers are given, which is great, but distracting at times. Also, while the film is big and has great moments, it feels a tad jumbled at times. The final battle is great, but there's times where it's difficult to focus on what's happening with all the ships and lasers on the screen. But my biggest problem with this film is that the film moves a bit too fast for my taste. There's not many moments where the film can take a minute to breathe and let the characters express their issues. It's a bit like several action scenes stitched together with lacking transitions. One of the reasons I loved The Last Jedi was that it did take its time to breathe and give the characters quiet moments for character development. With all that out of the way though, The Rise of Skywalker is definitely a fun movie that does a great job at concluding this massive saga. It's got some issues, but none that ruin the film for me or what's come before. I give Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker 4 stars out of 5. But let me know what you guys think. Go see the movie and leave a comment, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. This concludes our Star Wars Review Marathon. Let me know what other films you'd like me to talk about, and we'll see you next time on ADP Reviews.